Hey guys, uh, in today's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to get a custom Xbox 360 dashboard uh, theme so you can have your own like picture in the background. Alright, and what you're going to need is a USB with at least uh, I don't know, half a gigabyte and uh, just plug it into your Xbox and go to system settings and storage and as you can see it's not configured so you're going to need to configure now and uh, it takes maybe like a minute. I fast forwarded it right here, fast forward, yeah. So it got done way quicker than you'd think, but uh, it honestly doesn't take that long. So once you do that, you can see that it's clickable now, and uh, it has all the things in it, like uh, games and apps. So now we need to go to the computer, so unplug your USB, and I'll uh, see you there. Alright, hey guys, now we're on the computer, so this is the, I guess it's pretty easy part. But uh, yeah, so what you're going to need is a thing called Horizon right here. And it's just a modding program that you can look at USB and stuff, and it's uh, really good. So, I uh, just minimize that there. Okay, so I have a link in the description, uh, xboxme.com. So, right when you go to it, there'll be a download button right here, so you just click it. And then it'll bring you to the CNET website, so you just click download down right there. And uh, it'll begin in a second. And then you just uh, save it to your computer or wherever, okay? So, I already have it, so I don't need to. So uh, now you open up Horizon once you installed it and stuff, and uh, plug in your USB drive, and it should be right there. And uh, see, as we saw on the Xbox, all the games and profiles, now they're on here, so we can edit them. So uh, pretty much what you do is you go to uh, Tools, and you go to Theme Creator. And now what you need to do is load images into each one, and the main image is like the main dashboard. And then these ones are like the game library, media, and settings a little bit. Yeah, just go ahead and, but they need to be like 1280 by 720 in order to get like perfect like fit. Uh, so uh, I'll start putting them in now. I have four already selected so I don't waste time. And uh, you just keep loading them in there. And uh, now you can name your theme if you want. Just make sure it's yours. So I'll name mine uh, C Bar theme. Alright, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, now you just click uh, save as, and go ahead and just save it to your desktop, I guess. And uh, as you can see, it's right here, and it's loading, and it should say save. There it goes. And now you just exit out of that. Go back to game modders, and click this little arrow to bring out your flash drive again. Go to themes, open it up, and right click it, and inject file. And you need to inject your theme that you just did. And then it should inject it and say it is okay and stuff. And uh, now pretty much what you do is you just exit out of it and safely remove it. Uh, I guess you don't have to, but I always do just to make sure. And uh, yeah, so uh, now you take your USB and we'll go back to the Xbox. So. Alright, hey guys, we're back on the dashboard and I'm going to show you how to get it onto your actual dashboard now, like the theme. So uh, you just go over to settings and go to system and go to storage. And uh, now you go find your USB drive and go to themes and you'll see it right there. So you just click it and copy it and uh, just go ahead and paste it to your hard drive just like that. And uh, then once it's done copying you need to go all the way back to the dashboard. Well you can also just check if it's there like I'm doing just to make sure it's there. So uh, yeah now you go back to the dashboard and you go over to the social tab and then you need to click on your avatar like that. Like just hover over it and click it and then uh, you'll immediately get three options the bottom one is change theme so just click that and uh, there it is you'll have two copies most likely but uh, that's normal just I usually click the bottom one because the top one sometimes is twitchy but I don't know just click the bottom one and yeah and then wait a second to make sure it sticks and uh, you got it so yeah guys uh, that's how to do it um, yeah, if you have any problems, just message me and leave a comment on what tutorial you want me to do next because I'll gladly do it. Alright guys, we'll uh, see you next time.